Welcome to another episode of Thrifting Live. It's been a while, again. <laughs> but we're back open now, so we're in the um, the Toy Everyone in Anla Bay. It's the V2 Explorer, Explorer for um, PlayStation 2. Um, but I was like, I don't really have any need for that. I mean, I'm kind of getting out of the whole cheating on games thing. <laughs> it's not really my 30 year anymore. <laughs> But um, not much in here, just um, Modern Warfare 2 and a bunch of FIFAs. They're in Cancer Research um, in Anderby, a bit further down the road. I'm having a look on the spindles. Um, there's a surprising amount of HD DVDs on here. <laughs> and I keep saying I'm going to I'm gonna find a HD DVD add-on for um, Xbox 360 and then maybe start collecting them. <laughs> some of are doing it. But um, there's some time to do that, though. I end up... <laughs> collecting weird formats. I had a big thing about um, UMD discs a while back. <laughs> Got out of that though. <laughs> Sports challenge. Mm. Uh, it's an excuse to whip out the um, move controllers, I guess. <laughs> but, um, don't think we want FIFA or Nan either. <laughs> but there was one I was quite tempted with, to be fair. There were some good titles on it, to be fair, like Batman Begins. Um, what was the one that I actually wanted to... Uh, there was Unburn... Burn Identity, whatever. And that was it. It was Serenity <laughs> on HD DVD. But they do have disc rot problems, these HD DVDs as well. I've been reading from, on some forum before. Someone had all the Harry Potters on HD DVD and they had like this like re weird ring on the disc. Where it just started rotting away. Whatever the med amount of the material is not very good apparently. <laughs> so maybe it's not a good idea to get into HD DVD. <laughs> but um, yeah, just beyond this same um, pink jacket, there was a few P PC games in the basket, like Age of Empires 3, a load of FIFAs and that. Just standard fare. <laughs> It was to be fair, it was quite dry because it was, this was the first day that the shops had opened back up again. But still, you gotta go have a look. Supermarket Mania. <laughs> but um, we're um, further down actually in Anderby now, and um, yeah, it kind of seems like the same stuff really. I think the only noteworthy thing I saw in this one, apart from that um, car sign <laughs> that I just moved out of the way. Uh, was um, Shrek 2. <laughs> so yeah, if you want Shrek 2 for pound fifty, it's in this one. <laughs> but I passed it up. They had um, Hears as well on um, on PS3. Which um, is um, kind of pants. <laughs> but you got to see what it is. Uh, I'm going cash it in now. And I was eyeballing this laptop because uh, my PC exploded about three weeks ago so I nicked the one from downstairs so I was needing to buy our last a new computer so she didn't have to rough it up. That gaming mouse that you just seen go I me go past I ended up buying that as well. It was like six quid for a trust gaming mouse. But um but I'd have the skeg at the games anyways while I'm in here. And it um it was alright actually um Lego Hobbit for one ninety nine, see so XL that for eight quid. So I was like, yeah, I'll get that. <laughs> no brainer that one. And there was actually one that I actually wanted to play again that I spotted, which was um, Split Second Velocity. Um, it's kind of like burnout, but instead of whacking the cars, you explode the the track around them. If anyone's ever played that, it's actually pretty. I uh, kind of rate it. I used to like enjoy that game when it first came out. It was when Disney were buying up studios and the but. Um, I think it's Black Label Studios, and then they went bankrupt not so long after. But yeah, I was eyeing up the, the um, laptop, and it's an Intel Celeron dual core. Um, it had a one terabyte hard drive, but the one thing that I just wanted it for was a HDMI out, 
which it has on the side. So I was like, 129 quid for that. It's pretty alright, isn't it? <laughs> so I was going to get her a tower, but I couldn't be bothered to carry a tower back. So I popped on that. <laughs> Once I sorted out the like um, serial number and that, so it booted up to Windows so I could check it out. Because sometimes if you buy laptops pre-earned, I always check the specs because the... Um, They've got a nasty habit of taking sticks of RAM out of them. <laughs> you hear about one that says 4 gig of RAM, you'll only get 3 gig of RAM. So, um, in Longsdale now, um, they had a bunch of um, Xbox games in. It was really weird because I saw Agent Under Fire and I was just on about that to a mate on Facebook <laughs> when we was playing it back in the day. Um, yeah, now spectacular. Now that I had already got, apart from one, which was um, 13 on Xbox. Which I'd seen um, Sardonic Pickle um, was streaming about a year ago, I think it was. He was he playing the Switch version because they just remastered it. But it was only a pound, so I thought for a pound I might as well pick up the Xbox version. Because I thought he already had it, but um, I don't. I must have maybe I sold had it before and then sold it. But um, yeah, it was in it was in good nick and that. So I had a quick skeg at the disc just to make sure. Something about Xbox games they always seem to be trashed when you find them. I thought we'd scored big in this one because there was loads of games, but yeah, if there was ever a shelf of what I would consider standard fare, <laughs> this is what standard fare looks like now. But it used to look like loads of PS1 games that no one wants, but if you saw loads of PS1 games no one wanted 10 years ago, now you'd probably want them all. <laughs> but yeah, the only real games of any any note were um, mashed on PS2, which I would have bought, but um, yeah, the front cover was all water damaged and it looked very pretty scabby and then there was um i think it was frillville which is another one that i enjoyed back in the day but yeah the rest of them were just your bog standard you know ps2 games you see all the time i mean don't get me wrong if you were after some shelf filler you know you started collecting again you wanted to fill up your games room yeah getting this one down Ch um newland because <laughs> it's um it's probably worth your while i think they're a quid a piece but um for what I'm looking for, not really. Cause I'm, I'm either looking for stuff I actually really want, or like stuff I can trade in or sell on. So, for me, <laughs> not really the place to be. This one, <laughs> it's kind of disappointing when you see that many games and out of the whole shelf, there isn't one that you want to buy. <laughs> but it's just the nature of the beast, isn't it? <laughs> we'll crack on. <laughs> but yeah, Project Eden. <laughs> a spiritual successor to um to Res. Yeah, I suppose you could buy a time split as one. It won't be that bad. So it was just a bit further down going back the other way because there was queues outside of all today. <laughs> I had to queue. It was like a queue for the world's shittest fair ride. <laughs> Queuing outside charity shops. But I mean, I'll wait, mate. I, I want to go in them for sure. I thought we were done. It was just FIFAs and um, Furzas. But um, I did see. Um, Hulk Ultimate Destruction which I would have bought but uh, the disc was also in Ultimate Destruction <laughs> it had been proper shredded like to beyond resurfacing I think we can say for that one so yeah I passed upon Hulk and this is the last one today but this is where it all happened I thought it was going to be a bit of a bust and we weren't going to find out else but um, yeah this one made it all worthwhile <laughs> so um, I'm not breaking social distancing, that's a dummy. <laughs> but yeah, straight away I seen um, Final Fantasy pop out on there. So I grabbed them all just to check them over. But yeah, I ended up with... Um, I didn't get um, Rise of the Silver Surfer, because I know that's not really worth out. And um, that Herbie is um, the same price as EX, it's three quid. But... Um, all the rest of them were under par, apart from the Lego one. So yeah, Godzilla Unleashed goes for eight quid in CEX. Um, Star Wars Lego, um, that actually just goes for the same price I paid for it, which is for four quid. So that was the only one that was a bust. But the others, um, Final Fantasy three goes for eight quid in CX, Cookie Mama two goes for eight quid in CX, and so does um I think Godzilla Unleashed goes for six quid actually. But that was only four quid and three quid and three quid. So 
Yeah, it was all right. I spent sixteen pound <laughs> on DS games, and like, you know, there was like that the value in them alone makes sense. But yeah, to be fair, I might play that copy of um, Final Fantasy Three. <laughs> I mean, I've got an half a card for DS, but you know, <laughs> it's just nice to put the original cartridge in. I did see that um, Doom game, but again, the front cover was a bit um, worse for wear. And Fahrenheit on um, P PC. <laughs> so, yeah, that's everything I got this time, Thrifty and Live. If you like this video, be sure to thumbs it up, um, go subscribe to the channel, and if you want to see pictures of stuff I capture off, um, video i sometimes post pictures on my twitter at uh, um, twitter.com forward slash thriftbytes and you can always click around on the website thriftbytes.com because i used to write about this stuff back in the day rather than make the videos and you sometimes catch me live on twitch.com twitch.tv forward slash thriftbytes that's all i was keeping anyways right thanks for watching i'll see you all later